learn about the parts of a flower using augmented reality. We have this wonderful device called SenseXR controller with which we can create educational demonstrations and teach and also learn. So let's get started. So here we have a flower. Flower is the reproductive organ of a plant. We get fruits and seeds from flower. Here we can see a dissected flower. A flower consists majorly of four parts. The colorful part is called as the petal. Petals can vary from various colors and you can see small leaf-like structures in the base. It is known as sepal. Apart from these, the flower contains two parts. One is the male part and one is the female part. The male part of a flower is known as the stamen and the female part of the flower is known as the pistil. All the flowers have colorful petals. Do you know why? Because the pollinators, that is, the bees and the mosquitoes like small creatures get attracted to the bright and vibrant colors of the petals. And when they come, they carry the pollen from one flower to other and they help the flowers to pollinate. And then only fruits are created, which are consumed by other animals. So this was the brief of the parts of flower. So let's learn how to create these kind of experiences that can be useful for educative demonstrations. Let's create a new project. Now I'll go to the anatomy category of my assets and I'll choose the parts of flower asset. You can see it. But what I see is a dissected flower. But for my first frame or my first experience, I want a complete flower. So what will I do? I'll right click on list panel as shown and I'll click on duplicate. Once the asset is duplicated, I can rotate the duplicated asset to create a complete flower like look. Okay, perfect. So I want it to appear at my first frame. So I'll add show it serial number one block to both my assets. Perfect. Now let's add some description from the tags category. I'll add the heading and body text. Let's reposition it properly. Okay. So let's add logic to it. When I show it serial number one, I want the heading to be parts of flower. And I can add the body accordingly. You can add anything according to your choice. I'll be writing a flower is a reproductive organ of a plant. You can also maximize your logic window from here. Okay, let's minimize it back. Cool. So let's click play and check. This looks perfect. Okay, let's stop it. And now I'll go back to the description panels logic and I'll add another block for show at serial number 2 by duplicating the entire stack. So I'll change the body and I'll add flower has four parts. What are they? Stamen, stigma, petals and sepals. Right. Now when I'll click play and check, you can see on the first frame I can see the flower but on the second frame I cannot. So what I'll do, I'll add another dissected flower here. So when I click the ticker for the second time, I want to see dissected flower. So I'll add the logic to this flower for show at serial number 2. Okay, let's adjust the transform accordingly. Now let's add logic to the description text panel for the third experience. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the third one, I'm going to add labels or to the parts of my flowers. Also make the dissected flower visible for the third time. So I'm adding show at serial number 3 also to the flower. You saw it? Okay, so let's add arrow from the props category and let's adjust the transform and size and position of the arrow accordingly so that we can use it for creating labels. Okay, so this arrow is set now. Now we want to add a label. So from the tags category, I'll add a simple text panel which is going to serve as our label panel. So let's adjust its position and size and drop it in front of the arrow. Let's adjust the size a little more and change its position. 
perfect. Now let's add logic to this text panel. Let's click at the text panel and add logic to it. So I want to show it at serial number three. So clicking the button for the third time, I want to see it and I'll add the text as stigma because I've marked the arrow at stigma. Now I'll click the play button and check. Then I click it for the third time or when I press the U button for the third time, I can see the stigma over here. I'll also add show at serial number three block to my arrow so that the arrow only appears when the label is being shown. Okay, so you can add further arrows like this. Similarly, you can add more arrows and more labels to the parts of your flower and you can create a much better experience. Here you can see I've used further arrows and labels to make it much more interactive and interesting. You can also use your creativity to do so. And now we will see how to experience this in augmented reality on our device. Install XRBlocks app for your Android or iOS device and make sure it is connected with SenseXR controller with Bluetooth and log in with the same account with which you created the project. Now open the project which you created, let it load. After it completes loading, click on AR mode. Wait for it to load and then click on the play button. Okay? And bring the SenseXR controller in front of your camera and then check it out. I'm clicking the upper and lower buttons to change the experiences. You can see the parts of flower labeled very nicely. This way you can create amazing educational experiences with XR blocks. Thank you and stay tuned for more.